gonna pump these rear boys up to two and a half bar for some reason. <laughs> Burnout enhancement fluid. Chunk Wincher is about to draw to a close. And this, like, okay, no steering whatsoever today. I'd say with this car, I just got overly excited for a pile of junk, piece of shit junk. Some idiot has used this kind of met method of uh, touching the engine cover. I sold the Touareg and this one was coming up for auction. I think the auction was kind of sort of ending few days from the sale of Tuareg. To me it seems that this car has electric power steering. Maybe something that I should have googled before I went uh, on discovering what's going on under the hood. And I've never had a Lexus before so uh, let's just call it uh, overly excited about really nothing to be excited about. Well this is a steering rack of a JDM Lexus GS 430, 450, I don't know, anyhow the V8 version, not the hybrid one. And uh, yeah, we are trying to quite possibly resurrect this car from uh, its current situation. So I'm taking it to the mechanics to see if there's any way to make a right-hand drive working steering rack and left-hand drive broken steering rack into one working left-hand drive steering rack. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. And I'm going to find out uh, overall if this car is worth uh, putting uh, back on the road for personal use. So I traveled to Narva, actually like when I first saw the car, I saw there's no uh, at least secondary cats. The power steering was sort of working, but it was making noise. I didn't pay attention to the shitty tires whatsoever because, you know, you just get better tires, Ty used tires. I mean, you can find a set of decent used summer tires for like 100 euros. So that wasn't the question. Drove it home. It worked more or less fine. The power steering was working. That's uh, uh, the main issue no power and steering next to the shitty tires. Other than that, this car, you could perceive it as a decent driver. Anyhow, I got home and then uh, to add insult to injury, I threw away 150 euros on this shit. This is a bill from a place called uh, Toyota Abi. Like one observation from life, uh, from all the shit I've done with cars is that uh, you don't wanna go to a place, if you're a junk man like me, you don't wanna go to a place where there's a reception desk because a place with a fucking reception desk they're gonna have your ass and by your ass i mean your fucking bank card contents or the data on your bank card they're gonna have it they're gonna take it good morning first of all before we do anything we're gonna take off this condom from the steering wheel i have no idea how to get it loose so i'm just gonna cut it most likely I hope there's a good steering wheel under it. I don't have high hopes, but I'm done with this condom. I paid buck fifty, you know, uh, got some info about the car, like missing catalytic converters, power steering issue. The ECU box itself is corroded, oxidized. Power steering makes a terrible noise. Yeah, now we get some steering. So I'm, I'm, I have ears myself and some other shit. Nothing really noteworthy. Last time I tried to drive uh, during a cold weather, the steering wheel was not moving at all. And yep, today it's the same issue to start the day off. 
it's not moving anywhere and you see this way it's kind of tough to drive if I don't have any steering so what I did last time also just gonna just gonna drive it back and forth a little and try to move the steering wheel it doesn't give you a power steering error but it won't it won't uh, move either two one you see and now it's loose and I have sort of a power assistance uh, and it will be it will be working on the first drive of the day I pay 150 euros which is pretty expensive it's like three hours of labor in Estonia like 50 euros an hour is uh, is a fairly hefty uh, labor rate and uh, these fuckers didn't even uh, find out that uh, the car has like the gearbox is working how, how do you describe it it has a regular automatic gearbox with six gears forward uh, one reverse neutral the gears kind of like are there and then they're not i was driving here with the power mode uh, on and it seemed to have all six gears but if if the power mode is not on then it seems that there's no second or third there's like first fourth fifth sixth something like that Obviously, it says that they read out the error from the gearbox ECU uh, shift sol solenoid A control circuit. Is shift solenoid uh, A control circuit the, the, the culprit for it not having gears? I mean, if, if um, this place with the reception desk would be a top-notch place, then they would add that if I have this error, then you might not have some gears. When I was picking it up, it kind of sort of seemed like it has no power. But the fact that it has had no power, the engine is actually sweet as a nut. Let's see how it fares on the cold start today. Fires up just fine. But the fact that it had no power came down to the fact that it was like going from first to like fourth or third, fourth, fifth, something like that. Uh, yeah, it's just stupid me, you know, I just got overly excited. This is not the first place with a reception desk that I feel that I've been conned out of money. You know, I paid more for the service for what I actually got for, for the money in my mind. But okay, I mean, money has no value these days anyway. Overall, they sort of did the work for at least half of this money so i guess i'm complaining a bit too much but you know if i'm butt hurt like no no wonder i'm i'm about to take like a in my on my estimation i haven't even started selling it on an auction i'm gonna take at least a thousand euro loss here so, so reserve me some right to be butt hurt and then uh, uh, my father developed interest to, towards this car uh, because it has low mileage like my father is the perfect example of a person buying mileage and that's it You know, that's all he cares about. We talk about uh, the fact that you should buy the condition of the car But he doesn't care in the end of the day. He just cares about the mileage So well, I took it to the technical inspection MOT TUV they check that the car would be technically legal to drive so they marked up that some uh, Bulbs have been replaced by uh, LEDs. Uh, front left uh, headlight has condensation in it. And they also marked up that the, the frame of the car is rusty. The rear, I don't know what you call this stuff here. It's like rusty from down there. The, these should be welded up. And it doesn't pass the emissions because, you know, this car should have four catalytic converters and it has none. I know it uh, by the day now. I, I figured that two are missing, but actually all four are gone. Battery is not tied down. Actually, the battery tie down is back there. Uh, somebody had just taken it off and thrown it in the car. It didn't pass technical inspection. Finally, I took it to an actual mechanic, you know, guy in, a, in his shop doing actual work. I bought a right-hand drive power steering rack in hopes that um, Maybe uh, you could intertwine the left and the right hand drive one for uh, one working unit. It's not possible. Although I discovered that as far as the power steering ECU is concerned, the only difference between the left and the right hand drive unit is the box lead itself. Some right hand drive parts can be 
mixed and matched with the left hand drive parts to make it into one of either. There's a surplus of right hand drive parts like this power steering ECU is on eBay. So uh, it's a thing, uh, not on only this car, but on other cars, it's a thing that's uh, worth keeping in mind. Because uh, I figured it out only by eye test. I just uh, took, uh, opened Google, Googled the Lexus GS300S 190 power steering ECU, and then just compared with my eye the left-hand drive and the right-hand drive unit. The contents is all the same. It's just the box lead and the part number which are different. I've been talking for some time now, let's uh, basically summarize it. So what stops from, uh, this car from becoming a running car is mostly the fucking uh, fact that it's rusty as hell, uh, apparently from underneath, and that it's missing all four catalytic conver converters. Uh, other than that, I mean, the power steering uh, and the tires are minute. Uh, maybe the gearbox will come back to life after a fluid flush and uh, maybe some additive. But uh, like, uh, there's at least, uh, even if you don't do it nicely, you just patch it up. Then uh, the, the last mechanic said that there's at least thousand euro worth of uh, of uh, like uh, bodywork to be done down there just to make it you know tenable to drive and then I should have ha have had made a new exhaust for the car like uh, from the downpipes down because there's like uh, front catalytic converters are somewhere in the engine bay and then the rear ones are just uh, down somewhere here uh, so yeah I mean the bodywork down there and the exhaust work is uh, alone like uh, I'd say at least 2,000 euros all together and you can get a running and driving car for like uh, three and a half and uh, after that uh, after the rust repairs and the exhaust then you would have to fix the power steering uh, rack or change it fix it whatever and then uh, tires and then you would really need to do a gearbox oil change and uh, like diff oil change and an engine oil change and all the small stuff that will add up in the end of the day. So like um, this car, yeah, it has low mileage for the year that it is and compared to the other cars on the market, but there's easily like uh, double the car's money worth of like TLC that it needs to, to be a decent runner. And then at the end of the day, uh, there's rust here, there's rust on the other wing mirror. Uh, it's kind of sort of looks decent overall, but you know, there's all sorts of little stuff that will just uh, not break, not only break the bank, but it will break your back too. So yeah, this car is not worth saving. And like um, uh, two times I've uh, done business with Russians, like uh, there's a lot of uh, ethnic Russians who live in Estonia who are like uh, more or less uh, on paper, like uh, uh, as a matter of fact, as their paperwork goes, they are Estonian, but they're ethnically Russian. And uh, the takeaway from this is that, uh, you know, I'm not gonna buy any car from ethnically Russian Estonians anymore because the last one I bought, the, the Passat, but like the brakes are definitely stuck. Okay, and now we have no power in fourth. This car has no power in fourth. No power in third. Okay, we're, we're, we're fucked. We're, we're genuinely fucked. Something is stuck. I got like a good one kilometer out of the place where I got the car. And the front brakes are completely stuck on, no doubt. This car is not moving anywhere. Also, the catalytic converter was stolen. Stolen. Uh, it had gone missing. Somebody had sold it before selling the car. Plus, with that car, this asshole, this Estonian asshole, this Estonian somewhat of a YouTube guy asshole, uh, who's uh, mended my cars too, he ran the auction price up too. So, but even uh, even with that car, I escaped. I actually like uh, made 150 euros. Uh, which considering all the time I had to put in, uh, I made nothing on that, but I didn't take an L. But with this car, um, they, if, uh, so the Russians, I don't know if they are, they didn't show me their passports. I'm just going to call them Russians as we call here. Because uh, 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 at this stage, like it's 21st May of uh, 20th or 21st May of uh, 2023, we can uh, 
speak honestly about Russians. They're fucking assholes. And uh, the same thing goes to Estonian Russians or Russian Russians, whatever. Uh, basically, most of the Russians, and yeah, go fuck yourself with, oh, there's like a few good people I know. Yeah, there is, like, there's always few good people. And then there's, uh, like, the rest of the 98% are fucking assholes. And this applies to this car, too. They have smudged up, like, all the warning lights on the dash. Um, and all the rest of the stuff I was already yapping on about uh, yakety yakking. <laughs> But the, 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 but the takeaway is, at the end of the day, I fucked up and that's what, that's what happened, you know. I got overly excited for nothing, that's what happened, it's all on me, that's what happened. I didn't... Uh, basically, I took a train to this town, uh, which borders Russia here in Estonia, like two hours, and I was set on buying something. And uh, if you want to be like this really frugal junk dealer then uh, that's exactly what you shouldn't do because I was, I was hell bent on like driving this car home uh, and uh, I saw that it's missing the catalytic converters and I sort of ignored it uh, I understood that you know it doesn't have any power for some reason I didn't understand that though it's gearbox related uh, but I still uh, paid them their money and drove home and that's all on me in the end of the day that's all fucking on me and uh, nothing else to say about it uh, but yeah that's that, that's the main takeaway and the other takeaway is that you know uh, just fuck these guys I mean they're all scammers like uh, uh, I'm not saying this just because now I have two examples and the Passat was like so cheap that it didn't even matter with with that I would have gotten like uh, one third of the value of the car which was 600 euros in total I would have gotten back like uh, just by junking it. But with this car, I mean, they basically had lied in the advert, like big time. I think it said timing chain changed, gearbox oil changed, like in the last 10,000 kilometers. Yeah, I, I didn't believe that. Like uh, even uh, in hindsight, I would, uh, I would have no problem in admitting that I, would, I believed those lies, but like they straight up lied in the advert. Basically what it most likely did is it just ran up the auction price because uh, some idiot was bound to believe it. And then there was the idiot of me actually going ahead and bidding, because at like 260, 2655, 55 or whatever the ending bid was, it seemed like a good deal, like 900 euros below the cheapest one on the market uh, with this mileage. But um, I just basically shot myself in the head or in the foot or whatever with this car. And yeah, I mean, this is uh, this was a pretty fluid rent and pretty long one. Yeah, yeah, I'm a born entertainer, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna auction this car off. Uh, um, uh, I, I think I'm gonna do it honestly, just like uh, uh, list most of the stuff that's wrong with it, you know. Uh, and yeah. Learn my, take my lesson with me, learn my, learned my lesson, take this lesson with me uh, and upwards and onwards, I guess, you know. Gotta, gotta hope that this didn't dent my junk ventures too much because the, you know, the pockets are empty. I only have paper to blow my nose in my pockets. So, uh, uh, sell this car, maybe try to find something uh, more worthwhile getting uh, back on track into winning ways uh, but uh, yeah I guess that's it I mean it was a long rant as it was so yeah I guess uh, I don't know thanks for watching I guess this is where the video ends and I'm gonna shut up and uh, maybe film a bit of this car more for the auction and yeah there's that well, I made a couple of knife nicks on the steering wheel myself, but whatever. It's ten times better than this fucking horse shit. Fucking crap. Fucking idiots. The lines start from here and look like nice uniform peel. Just fucking out of there. Get out of here. Shit, fuck. It has no power steering, but I managed to do like a decent loop-de-loop -loop there, like a 
not like you know on the spot but actually like holding a bit angle and shit <laughs> boy it got dusty <laughs> I'll show you this <laughs> Look at the dust on, on the tripod. <laughs> it's just all floating away. <laughs> and like, <laughs> okay, I have to go home before before somebody <laughs> somebody calls the cops on me <laughs> or something. <laughs> like the car is covered in dust, but it was like 110% worth it. I'm so happy uh, buying this car just just now with this. <laughs> It was, <laughs> it made it uh, all worth it. And I, I laid a here, I laid a, a mean peel here. Just, you know, one of these, like, I came from the drift and then I like, just burnt the tires and shit. But you know, yeah, sorry, I'm just mentally nine. <laughs>